I'm so tap tap, and this is Light Away. This is a cute little idle game that, uh, or iterative game anyway. You know, clicker stuff, sort of like uh, Abyssrium, but a little bit RPG themed. Um, and it just came out today, or just uh, globally released today. I've been on the little preload list for a while, so. There's this cute little story, there's these little fairy things, and there's these big not fairy things that want to eat their faces off. There's this little girl who finds one. And the fairy gives you a little wand. And then you go, sploop, right out of existence. Rest in peace. So then we are filled with determination, and we need to go beat up all of the things. Because they're bad. At least that's my understanding of the story from the comics. The whole world covered in darkness. Classic stuff. Classic stuff. What are we going to do? So we're going to fight the little things. Red fairy. I'm going to be a little fast on the dialogue. Sorry, it's not... <laughs> It's not a huge deal, but read. I'll, I'll give you a second to read it. But basically, yes, it's just the tutorial from this point on. We just kind of got to go along. We bump into, oh. We bump into some graphical glitches. That might just be my Android emulator acting up. I had to load this in my emulator um, to, to record it properly. Um, yeah, these are Umbras. They have the Fey trapped. We just got to tap. You kill the thing. You get stuff, you get currency after tapping the thing, you know, iterative games. So we're doing a little tutorial here. I've never recorded one of these for... Yeah, the, gra the graphics thing was not... When I re played this on my phone, it was not like that. So that's probably just some side effect of me recording this on my emulator or my... I don't know. It also did, like, just come out, so bugs. There may be bugs, but yeah. Let's see how we're doing. So yeah, upgrades. You upgrade to do more tap damage. There's red fairy, blue fairy, green fairy, dread fairy, shoe fairy, etc. Light up. Spend your powers to restore light to the phase, gaining powers. Reset. I wonder if that means if that's a reset. I'm not a big fan of mobile ga or idle games that like be prestige and stuff. I've never been a fan of that. Ah, boss. So yeah, this is pretty standard. My name. Little girl, yes. My name is Little Girl, yes. <laughs> Best name. My parents, definitely not jerks. So yeah, it's, it's standard RPG light um, idle game stuff. So instead of dying or anything, you have a little time limit on bosses and you just get kicked back to the last non-boss fight if you don't do it in time. You don't lose progress or anything. So yeah. And I'm sure there's luck at stage five. Ah, so there's little spells. Yeah, there's spells and perks, so like active spells and uh, passive perks that you have. Thresh cooldown while your spells. It's like spell on Umbra. Oh, these are more like. These seem more like uh, like one-time premium things. Yeah, just, it, the art style looked really good, and uh, it seemed, I don't know, it had a really good theme to it. <laughs> Sorry for the glitchiness, but yeah, the, I, li I like to look like at the umber things. And so if you've played other idle games where you just tap a lot, you can hear me clicking. Um, you know, you'll, you'll know how to play this. It's got some of the similar things. Discover new runes and unlock the constellation map. All right, there's some kind of constellation. It looks kind of like a skill grid system sort of deal. Staff of flares, blah, blah, blah. Ten all flare. Full set bonus. So we got some staff stuff. There's some in-app purchase things. I, I saw one there. Unlock at stage. Yeah, stage five seems to be the point where the, the training wheels are taken off. I'm not sure if I can get there in this video, but I just wanted to show it off real quick because I know a lot of us have rage quit Abyssrium in the last 24 hours. So, and this conveniently just came out and I was like, hey, whoa, this <laughs> destiny right here. I need to awaken more fairies. There are more fairies. Yes. All right. So need to awaken another fairy. Green fairy, light of love and blue fairy. Light of hope. Hooray. Hi, fairies. How you doing? 
now we do way more damage. Hooray! So I guess... But let me just do a little cut to when I get to level 5, because that seems like that's where a lot of things open up. Unlocked Fairy Bond. I don't know what that is. Tap here to forge a bond. Choose a fairy to bond with, they become more powerful. Dodge, Charge Flare, Critical Flare. I don't know what any of these are. Um, charge Flare sounds cool, so we're gonna go with that. Is that like you do a charge attack? I don't, I don't think click and hold is like a thing. Maybe it just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that does. I'm sure it was good, and you probably just want to even those out as you do things, I guess. So yeah. Um, everything unlocks at level 5. What happened to this poor creature? It's a living lantern. It's been attacked by the Umbra. Cleanse the darkness by beating it up. 1.4 thousand darkness. That is a lot of darkness. Got a lot of dark pudding. See the evil darkness, it's very similar to pudding, but does not taste like pudding, trust me. Don't make do not make that mistake. Hey you go, buddy. Got some grass growing on him. She'd like to stay by her side. Oh right, yeah, the, some of the art shows her writing on that little duder. So that's our buddy. Lumi Lancer attracts Lumis. Let's see for ourselves. Try to seedling. Let me lit flare to the Umbra. Oh, so these are our passive damage, yeah. Standard idle game stuff, like I said. Um, just with their own flavor to it, so yeah. This is our active damage, our main character. This is our passive damage. Uh, the setup seems pretty much like, um, uh, Tap My Katamari. Or, to a lesser extent, uh, Politicats. Yeah, quite a bit like Politicats, too. Uh, but yeah, they're the same general sort of deal. So I am guessing that, what is this? Pre-registration gift. Thank you for support. Claim at stage 5. I am at stage 5, though. Wait, what is this? Unlock at stage 20. This, that is oddly tasteful for them to be like, Hey, you can't buy stuff. Oh wait, you can buy some things. Also, oh, there's like a chest thing. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Almost a Hero, which I need to do a video on that. Oh yeah, and there's rewards for doing achievements, like I said. Fairly standard stuff. Um, I saw a screenshot in a room. Like, I wasn't sure if that was like a gameplay thing or what. Excuse! Excuse! Hello? Yes? What do you think of the game, Parker? Oh, now you're gonna go quiet on me. <laughs> anyway. Parker just had to get his two cents in. Wait, why can't I attract... Wait, what is this currency? 11 per second. What, what is your... Wait, no, plus... Oh, oh, no, the cost is at the bottom. Never mind, I just can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Evolve. How do I evolve my Lumi? Oh. <laughs> Paid. Nah. Not yet. <laughs> I've played this for like 10 minutes. I don't I don't think I need to pay money yet. I do really love the style though. I think it's kind of, you know, gameplay over graphics and blah, blah, blah. But I think for a mobile game like this, you kind of need to stand out from the get-go. You kind of need, you need to give me a reason to even try the gameplay. Because I mean, frankly, most mobile games don't have much of that. So um, it really helps to have a strong art style and be like, hey, I want to try that. 
I guess I can grow that guy. So, okay, we've got perks. Okay, yeah, the, the perks are the spend, spend premium currency to do the thing. Oh yeah, and that's your thing. There's always a thing in these games where you, um, there's a little thing floating around towards the top of the screen here and you tap it and it gives you a bonus, so yeah. Pretty understandable stuff. Um, I am a little, yeah. <laughs> it's good that it's similar in that, you know, you know how to play it. Um, it's not a bad game design in inherently or anything. Uh, but it does make me a little worried because Politicats and, um, what's its butt, um, Tap Mike Katamari, they get kind of in this loop where you just have to keep resetting the game and progression is so slow. And I am a little bit worried that this game does get like that, and I mean most idle games do. Uh, that's why I really like Dig Station, because it had a proper ending and you just beat the game and that's it. And it doesn't try to make you beat the game again and play slightly more of the game 500,000 times. Uh, it's it's nice to have an ending sometime, you know? But that's just my kvetching. It might be... It might not have those problems. I'll have to play it for a while to see. I think with these idle games, you gotta kind of play them and expect that maybe in a week you'll just end up giving up. Because the first few days, or even maybe the first day alone, <laughs> is like the majority of the fun to be had. So enjoy that first week of fun and don't worry about getting the last 50% of fun because it's spread over like three months instead of one week, you know? It's like eating a watermelon, right? Y you get all of the, 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 the meaty watermelon juices out of the easy to eat part. Is it really worth, you know, biting down into the skin to get that last 5% of the watermelon? I don't, I don't think it really is. I mean, eating watermelon isn't really that hard, but, you know. Imagine, like, a really naughty watermelon. It's really hard to eat. I don't I don't think you would eat that watermelon, but... This is why you don't over-explain your metaphors, kids. You end up with n knotted watermelons. Which is a metaphor for life. I can't even see the game. Parker is sitting in front of it. He He... Parker... I think approves of this game because he keeps watching it. He likes the fairies floating around, I think. Oh, Phoenix thing. Alright, so we get how this works. Wait, what's this deal? Oh, yeah, this is the special deal. You always gotta have that. So yeah, cl clearly a little standard, but that's not necessarily, you know, something to fault it for. Uh, it really matters, you know, what, what, what to me, the, the only real question is, is this going to get slow and bad? Um, but that, that remains to be seen. As far as first impressions go, I'm really liking this. This is Light Away. I don't know if it's on iOS yet, but it just released worldwide for Android uh, today as I'm recording this. Like an hour ago, I got a notification on my phone just as I was griping about uh, Abyssrium. It popped up and I'm like... <laughs> Friendship ended with Abyssrium. Now Light Away is my best friend. <laughs> anyway, that's Light Away. Maybe check it out. Uh, tell me what you think.